Hi, I'm Bridget. This is TV Squad Daily. It's Monday. <laughs> Let's not cheapen that with an explanation in words. Beauty and the Geek is returning to the CW this fall, and they've just announced this season will feature a twist. We're so over the twist. We're over twisted. Every reality show has a twist now. The new twist would be not to have a twist. This particular twist is especially stupid. In addition to the show's usual cast of beautiful women and geeky men, they're throwing in one good-looking man and one geeky woman. I'm on Team Geeky Woman. Because there's going to be a big group of women deemed attractive and desirable by society, one good-looking man deemed attractive and desirable by society, a big group of men who are all geeky but they have each other when they get rejected, and then the one geeky woman, whose only problem seems to be that she volunteered to go on this show under the label Geeky Woman. Ooh, and that's not all. The quality reality programming coming back in the fall. The Pussycat Dolls are coming back too. Oh, how we miss them. Last time we saw the Pussycat Dolls on a reality show, they were searching for the next Pussycat Doll, and they found her. Her name was Asia. Then Asia decided maybe she wanted to do a solo thing for a while rather than be the next Pussycat Doll. And then the Pussycat Dolls were like, that's cool, whatever, it's totally up to you. I bet that like four people who are still invested in that show by the end really feel vindicated. Now they're coming back to reality TV and this time they're forming a whole new girl group. And they've already decided on the name, it's going to be Girl Alicious. I'm not sure what the name of the show is going to be, I assume maybe, who wants to be in Girl Alicious? That's just so bad. Well, it's a girl band, so we have to name it something with the word girl in it. But let's also name it something that sounds like you're slurring your speech and looks like you're making out with the air when you say it. Delicious. And makers of The Simpsons continue to release tiny, interesting bits of information about the TV show to continuously promote their movie. This week, some of those tiny bits of fun information were that creator Mac Running made Marge Simpson's hair on a combination of Bride of Frankenstein and his mom. Also in the Simpsons movie, the president is Arnold Schwarzenegger. They said they chose him because they needed a president that would make people laugh, and he was the obvious choice. Arnold, I think you should just take that in a good way and don't think any more about it. They also just released a list of celebrity guest stars who will be making voice appearances on this season. It includes Jon Stewart, Stephen Colbert, Jack Black, Kelsey Grammer, David Hyde Pierce, Matt Dillon, Lionel Richie. They pretty much get anyone they want. Not getting anyone she wants will be the original American Idol star Kelly Clarkson. Kelly, I totally respect what you're doing, being yourself, doing your own thing, standing up for writing your own music. That's cool. In a recent interview with Blender, Kelly went off about how she doesn't kiss much because of mouth herpes. Oh, Kelly, no. Granted, not that she has it, but that she's scared of it, but still. When you don't hear a word very often, it's natural to associate it with wherever you do hear the word. Which means Kelly Clarkson just kind of volunteered herself as a poster child for mouth herpes. Having it, being scared of getting it, the public doesn't always differentiate. Definitely not what her image needs right now. I'll see you tomorrow on the next TV Squad Daily.